In this video, we're going to look at how to access ECV from outside of the campus network. Logging in is a two-step process. We'll show you step-by-step -step in a moment, but first, here's a quick overview. First, you will need to authenticate and verify who you are. WashU Two-Factor Authentication, or 2FA, uses Duo for this process. If you are unfamiliar with 2FA and Duo or still need to register your device, please visit it.ustal.edu 2FA. There are various methods to authenticate. Please see the quick guide at it.ustal.edu ECV for more information about the various remote login methods. Second, after you have authenticated with Duo, you will need to enter your Wustel key credentials to verify which resources you are allowed to access. Let's get started. On your computer, open an HTML5 compliant browser. An updated version of Internet Explorer, Chrome, or Firefox are the recommended browsers. If you're using a Mac, Safari will work if the OS is 10.8 Mountain Lion or newer. In your browser, navigate to fmd.wustel.edu. Then click on VMware Horizon HTML Access. When you get to this first login screen, you will need to authenticate using Duo. Enter your Wustel key ID in the username field, but in the passcode field, you will need to enter your preferred method of authenticating via Duo. By using the Duo app on the device to generate a passcode, or requesting an SMS text with a passcode, or requesting a push approval notification, or requesting a phone call. In this example, we are going to use the push method by entering the word push into the passcode field. This is not case sensitive. Then select login. The request will be sent to your 2FA enrolled device. Simply approve the notification. Then, back on your computer, enter your Wustel key password. Make sure the domain is set to Accounts and select Login. Double click the Washington University All icon to launch it. Now you're logged in and ready to go. Some of your applications will automatically log you in. Once logged into a session, it will follow you no matter where you log in such as your home, to the coffee shop, to the office, or in the exam room. If it's been more than four hours since your last login, you'll be prompted for your Wustel key password. Your session will open right where you left off. For additional security, the screen will lock after 15 minutes of inactivity. Simply use your Wustel key credentials to log back in and pick up where you left off. If you need to lock your virtual desktop, Open the tray using the tab on the left side of the window. Then select the icon with the three keys. This will send a Control-Alt-Delete command to your virtual work area. Then select Lock this computer. To log back in, select the Control-Alt-Delete icon again. This will open a login window. Enter your Wustel key password and select OK. You will pick up right where you left off. It's important to note that your session will automatically reset after 13 hours, and any unsaved work will be lost, so remember to save your work often. Now that you understand how to access ECV from outside of the campus network, you will be able to access your work from anywhere there is a network available.